hallelujah and how is everybody how is everybody amen um i've come on board uh, by the grace of god uh, to speak some few things uh, from the heart of god and to let us know uh, where we are that's why we are saying it's a new day and god is working uh, with uh, you know, a corporate son. It's not about an individual now. It's about the body. It's about the body uh, of which each one of us, you know, is a member. So you should know your position uh, in, in the body of Jesus Christ and uh, you, you should be able to fit in well so that we supply, you know, we supply uh, to the body accordingly, efficiently, so that uh, the body may not uh, uh, seem to be lacking, you know, in any way by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. We know that God is an all-sufficient God and uh, he, he desires that, uh, you know, we, we acquire that DNA and be able to fit in uh, by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, uh, I would want to uh, speak to my continent, Africa, and I want to begin uh, uh, speaking to the nation of Kenya. Uh, where I belong, where I belong. Uh, I was born in Kenya, though a son of God, I'm a Kenyan. And I, I would want to say this, I, I would want to say this, my God, there is no, um, there, there is nothing, you know, uh, uh, the, the body of Jesus Christ is not lacking proper presentation. It is not lacking pro proper representation. God will never lack in whichever generation God will never lack somebody uh, to stand in for him because God will do all things with a man so whatever he says accomplished I want the, uh, the church in Kenya to know yes many are foreign we spoke this once before and God said he's going to expose any every evil that is hidden in the church so that means God, we are going to ex uh, experience a lot of exposures we, we are going to see my God and uh, you know God said we are going to see uh, breaking news on papers breaking news on TVs we are going to see such kind of things we have not seen yet and not only to Kenya but even to the continent of Africa because the end time move of God is birthed in the continent of Africa so God has, has to clear anything on the way anything and anybody and what we are going to see is uh, God himself by his power bringing for that demarcation between those who are uh, serving him in righteousness and those who are not so this is the operation of God himself and it is God at work by his grace in the mighty name of Jesus so I, I want to say something uh, uh, I've realized uh, you know as a woman of God in this continent that um, you know when it, it comes to politics you know particularly the politics taking times uh, when the we are gearing towards erections, you know, the church of Jesus Christ compromises so much with the, with the, with the, with the, with the politicians who are not godly and that the church scoops too long. Now, I want to say something I've been hearing the Spirit of God as I groan uh, for the destiny of the nation of Kenya and as I talk to God, he's my father, he's my friend. Now, the Spirit of God has spoken to me clearly that God is going to slow down. God is going to slow down by his own power and might. He is going to slow down the compromised church that is, that is that, that, that has, has been causing a lot of sabotage by following you know by following people because of what they are saying you know following politicians because of what they are giving you know and they, they just think about their berries they don't have the preservation in their in their whoops in their spiritual whoops concerning the generations of our children so this compromised church you know that has been learning helter and skelter opening doors and allowing you know, politicians who don't love God, even stand on the altars, you know, using the microphones in the houses of God. This uh, this particular time, the Lord has spoken to my spirit and say, I am going to slow down this kind of a church. I'm going to slow down. God is going to slow down this kind of people. You know, uh, you know, like now in my country, they say 80% are Christians. So this kind of Christianity that does not sit back and seek God to know who is speaking for God. Now, I, I, as I was preparing to come on board, 
the slow God has been reminding me the case of uh, uh, Saul and David you know God is saying to Samuel I have found for David I have found a man after my own heart hallelujah now the church is supposed to go back to the drawing board before you you learn and before you you, you judge things physically and you follow somebody because they are going to church or they are saying this they are mentioned in church Kaidre, it is not about uh, it is a uh, prophetic uh, destiny of a nation it is not determined physically it is determined first of all in the spiritual realm so we engage in the spiritual realm we engage in a place of prayer and we can only do that when we sit back in our houses when we sit back in our offices when we sit back and the purpose to begin with the Lord is calling upon the church in Kenya begin well seek my face apart from a place of stillness it is not about what somebody is saying my God the Lord was speaking to me this morning it is not about the ideas somebody is coming up with my God we have had these people repeat ideas and come up with good ideas and some of them have been in government all the years but they have nothing to show yes there is a lot of corruption around them so what, what God is saying it is time for the true church in the nation to determine the next course of action and the government that are you know the right government of the nation but we can only do this when you're operating from a place of stillness operate from a, a place of stillness let, let us not be caught in activities of men let, let us not be and I, I, I still hear that statement in the spirit the spirit of God is saying I am going to slow down this compromised church that lands up, up and down supporting that which I have not supported then when these people get to offices and they they, they, they begin now you know they, uh, from the word go they were not okay and then now they, they live their lives because that is their lives then now we begin now treating our God as by fire brigade we have no even authority we have no ground of authority even to correct anything as church because we chose them we we ran after any uh, name uh, we ran we ran with them we we, we supported their ideas you know we 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 sold out our our integrity to them so they, they we have nothing to correct because we we are the people who supported them so this particular moment god is saying this compromised church that is connected to politicians who are not after the heart of god god is saying i'm going to slow you down and i want to let you know god is you going to use any formula my God, that means God is going to touch some of these politicians and slow them, that, slow them down so that his purposes may prevail in the destiny of the nation of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So I don't want to dwell much on that. You are going to see it for yourself. As God is going to slow down some of these politicians because God of all God, there are some two. I, I, I said from the word go, God spoke to me in 2013. There are two people in the nation of Kenya who will never become president. No matter who supports them, no matter what they are saying, they will never become. It does not matter which church is supporting whatever. God has already rejected some two people in this country and God spoke to me this in 2013 and his word is forever settled in heaven. Hallelujah. Uh, we are not tribalists. We are there to give direction as prophets in this nation. And so I'm requesting because I'm seeing a lot of confusion before uh, somebody comes up and say God has spoken and said you prophets from outside the nation of Kenya I'm going to become this I don't know I'm going to do this and at church we bring a lot of confusion in the nation so this particular moment God is saying church begin well operate from a place of stillness and you're going to see my deliverance in the name of Jesus hallelujah and, and I want the, the nation of Kenya to know only that which is the heartbeat of God will prevail in this nation it does not matter who is supporting who I said and I've been saying this you are going to see reconciliation in the quarters you never expected my God, you are going to see political alliances and three of them are going to be made. You are going to see some dreaming uh, political alliances that, that are not there right now because none of what is there right now, what has been there before, will be entrusted by God for the next move of God in the nation of Kenya. None of the, of whatever has been there before. So what is coming up, we are going to see three main political alliances coming up and the Spirit of God told me there are going to be three and one of them is going to be so much connected to the church, not what is there. I'm saying... By, by by December this year, things are going to be very clear. And by the end of March next year, things are going to be very distinct in the nation of Kenya by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. So I'm requesting the church, be found on the side of God and be found where God wants you to be found. Because let me tell you the truth, we are preservers of the move of God in our nation and we are the carriers of life. We are the carriers of the destiny of the nation of Kenya and even our nations from wherever you're going to watch this video by the grace of God. So don't just don't just shout 
Don't just support somebody. Don't just even go to TV and support what is not supported of God. God is not another of confusion. God searches the heart of men. Hallelujah. And as I said before, God will never give the government of Kenya to a man who is whose heart is full of vengeance. If I get this position, this tribe is going to see me. This kind of people, blah, blah, blah. God cannot hand over a whole nation to such kind of a heart. Hallelujah. God will never ha hand over the nation of Kenya to anybody who has shed innocent blood. That chapter is long closed. God will defend the poor. God will defend the orphans and the widows. God is going to defend in this nation. Uh, his cause in the nation of... Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, I'm going to defend my cause in the destiny of this nation. Jesus said, God is going to defend his cause in the nation of Kenya. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So, the word I had from the Spirit of God from the morning uh, is that yesterday is that God is going to slow down the compromised church people who just learn up up and down because of the millions or the hundreds or the hard outs I hear the spirit of God call them hard outs whatever they are getting you know uh, whatever what, whatever they are getting from these politicians God is going to slow that down that means God is going to touch some of these politicians and put them off and and they slow them down so that they stop sabotaging the purposes of God in the nation of Kenya because it is time for the counsel of God to prevail in this nation. It is time for the purposes of God to prevail in the nation of Kenya in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And, and we are doing this with a lot of humility, but we are ad addressing this with in boldness because uh, the nation of Kenya has to get to her destiny. The nation of Kenya is a further nation in Africa. The nation of Kenya must get to her prophetic destiny. And I'm saying it is time now. Hallelujah. The fourth president of the nation of Kenya before even he retires, he's God to usher the nation of Kenya internationally and prepare prophetic platforms for the positioning of, of the nation of Kenya. So the church in the nation of Kenya, as the president, the current president is doing that, we are supposed to be on our knees preserving every move of God, preserving every connection and demanding every demonic loophole the devil could capitalize on to mess up the destiny of his country. Hallelujah. So let us be warned as a church that God is going to slow down. There has been a lot of compromise, even in present in the the presentation of the church in this country as far as government uh, uh, positions are concerned there has been a lot of compromise until my god the church you know, ha, ha, you know the, the voice of the church may, may seem as if it is irrelevant but let me tell you the truth a time has come and it is now that the church of jesus christ in the nation of kenya will arise in power and the power of god is going to be seen in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah so uh we we, we are set we are on the move by the grace of god I'm saying we are set and be on the move by the grace of God and we are ready. We as, 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 Thank you Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say uh, for those who are Christians and the people who are born again and you're going to watch this. The Spirit of God is saying from whatever God has praised you, prepare yourself as a prophetic midwife. The Lord is saying prepare yourself as a prophetic midwife to be able to usher you know, the purposes of God in whichever capacity God has entrusted you in the name of Jesus. So prepare your hearts. Thank you the Spirit of God is all over me here. Prepare your hearts. You know, prepare everything about you. Prepare yourself psychologically as a prophetic midwife to be able to usher in in your own personal capacity where God has taken you as a prophetic midwife to usher in the next move of God in the nation, the destiny of the nation of Kenya by His grace in the name of Jesus. The, body, the Bible says we are all members of one body. So we are prepared. We are getting set, all of us, by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. And let me tell you the truth. This particular moment, it is God at work. The human beings have done whatever they were supposed to do uh, since uh, the independence of the nation of Kenya. But this particular moment, God has taken over. God has taken over. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is all over me here. God has taken over the nation. Of, I mean, the direction of the nation of Kenya. God has taken over our state house. Our state house is healed by the grace of God. God has taken over our parliament. God has taken over every seat of authority in the nation of Kenya and the purposes of God. God will prevail in this nation. The Bible says we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So we are decreeing the purposes of God will prevail in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus. So I'm requesting the church, don't be caught up in the noises of men. Don't be caught up in the waves and the winds of men. Be where God is. Be on the side of God and you're going to enjoy the preservation grace by the masses of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So uh, that's a, a, a word of uh, uh, wow, a word of counsel. 
uh, from a prophetic office by the grace of God for the nation of Kenya. God is going to slow down for those who are coming on board right now. The Lord is speaking to the church in Kenya and he's saying there has been a lot of compromise before. We supported that which was not God in our in, in politics. We, we voted that which was not uh, God's agenda in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in different levels and then we called for prayers because those people when they, 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 they assumed positions of authority you know they just continued to live the way they, they, they lived. They were not God before so there was nothing you know to, there was no change for them and now this time now the Lord is saying the church must operate from a place of stillness because God is going to slow down you're going to see it from now God is going to slow down that which is not him God is going to slow it down but that which is covered uh, in God and in church and it is uh, it is not of him it is a camouflage it, it is a sabotage God is going to slow it down that means God is going to slow down some of these politicians put them off shut them down hallelujah so that they may not continue sabotaging the processes of God in the nation of Kenya in the name of Jesus and I still continue to say my God 2013 when I uh, I make I mean 2207 when uh, the president uh, the current president took the position of president in the nation of Kenya with his deputy God spoke to me clear and it was very clear and he told me there are two people who will never become president in the nation of Kenya it does not matter who is going to defend their interest or to do, do whatever and to support God is going to clear this and I'm telling the nation of Kenya by March next year 2022 things are going to be very clear the, the you know I, I, I realized uh, the prophets, the voices of God in our in our nations, particularly in the continent of Africa, they are never honored. But when a word has come from another place and it is a repetition of what God had already spoken to our own prophets, uh, we, we take it seriously. Now, and, 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 and the clearance is also going to begin from the house of God. Uh, we, we, we have not seen yet. We spoke about exposures. We have not seen yet. We have not seen yet because God is guarding his, uh, his, his agenda concerning the destiny of this country, Jesus said, by his grace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So what is God speaking to the church right now? He's saying, let us operate from a place of stillness. Let us operate from a, a place of stillness. My God, my brethren, too much is happening. Sorry. Too much is happening in the world right now. And for you, the Kayandolobozia, Sheketere Mahandolobozia, thank you, the Spirit of God is all over in my office. Now, for you to be able to... Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you are trusting God for anything right now and you are watching me and you are trusting God for anything, just believe with me. God is going to intervene in that situation. God is, there is a man of God watching me and your marriage is in shambles. Your marriage, it is not okay. I hear the Spirit of God say, just believe with me. Believe with me. The Spirit of God is all over with me here in my office. The Spirit of God is here. Just believe with me. God is going to restore order. God is going to restore his divine order in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are trusting God for and you are watching me and you are hearing my voice kindly believe god right now god is going to restore his divine order in the name of jesus hallelujah so god wants the church to operate to operate and to live in a place of stillness the bible says that we are seated with christ in heavenly places so god wants us to operate from there we cannot lower the guard we cannot scoop low we must remain there where we are seated that means how we are supposed to operate and, and, and then thank you holy spirit i hear the spirit of god say we have the power and the authority that has been given unto us you remember that that scripture in the book of matthew we have been given jesus has the power you know the power and authority in heaven and on earth was given to him and he handed over to the apostles and we are part of this company so we we are able to control the affairs of men here in the world we are able to control we are able to take charge we are able to my god to control that is a governmental place of authority hallelujah and so the lord is speaking to the church and is saying operate Great. Despite what is happening in the world right now, despite the so many voices, operate from a place of stillness. Hallelujah. Now, when you operate from a place of stillness, you are going to enjoy godly insight and you're going to enjoy discernment. That means you'll be able to test and to know that which is the counsel of God and that which is coming from the wisdom of men. Because, my God, in this particular moment, we are going to see and, and, and to hear much of that which is coming from the wisdom of men. My God, quoted and come afraging. My God, as if it is the angel of light. Hallelujah. So, how are you going to distinct this? 
as an individual you can only distinct this when you have the spirit of discernment and you have when you have insight from God himself in the name of Jesus hallelujah so this is an individual deal this other this is a, a very personal deal in the name of Jesus Christ so uh, so you, you you are able to fit in you know in whichever area that God has called you you are able to fit in without rolling the guard and without sabotage of your work of faith hallelujah that means in a place of stillness you are able to make the right decisions the Bible says as many as are read by the Spirit of God these are the sons of God so you are able to read as a son my God throughout without any sabotage that's why we see somebody like Daniel despite that uh, the fact that he is in Babylon he was able to live as per the standards of the kingdom of God in that oppressive setup of leadership hallelujah in idol worship look at somebody like Joseph no matter the situation no matter how the process of his making was he was able to live you know in the standard of his godliness hallelujah without any compromise because what my Jehovah God he was able to fit in appropriately you know fit in well in the right position and uh, you know and he was able to to to, to flow and to follow that hallelujah and to live it hallelujah without anybody monitoring him and he was able to make right decision at whatever time even you remember that story of potiphar's wife even when the potiphar's wife is trying to you know, to, to, to twist, you know, that the, the faith of Joseph. Joseph is saying, I cannot sin against the Lord my God, hallelujah, not against my boss, because it is not the beginning point of how, why, why I live and why I'm a Christian is the fear of God, hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13, the reason why God created us is that we may fear him and that we may obey his commands, hallelujah. So, we, we must remain in a place of stillness. We must purpose my brethren my god i'm seeing people go back to to traditions of men i'm seeing people even and i, I know people honor you know according themselves and bearing uh you know uh even the garments of christianity whatever people call those things my jehovah god but in my god they are sold out the traditions of men my jehovah it is, it is not an issue anymore for somebody covering up in the name of the lord to have one two wives oh, my god hey. and it is it is an open thing it is not a sin anymore my god people are scooping too low let me tell the church my god this generation has not changed the status of god the bible says he is the same yesterday today and forever as he was before is the way he is today he does not change he has not ruined his standard hallelujah and jesus is coming for a victorious church he died for a holy church he died for a victorious church and jesus is coming for a victorious church so from a place of stillness you are able to remain a set apart life hallelujah my jehovah you are able to live a set apart life so god is looking and working with the multiple graces deposited in human vessels to make a corporate son so god is going to work with a corporate a corporate son now it is not about i and myself it is about us and we hallelujah it's about the body so sinless will cause you know the storms and the weeds you know uh, you know such kind of things in our lives to cease and to stop hallelujah because we know the battle does not belong to us we just need to stand still hallelujah operate from a place of stillness my god i'm looking at the word of god in the book of second chronicles 20 and 14 to 19 down there hallelujah Remember at that time, in uh, during the reign of King Jehoshaphat, you know the children of Israel had been, uh, you know, uh, had had been written by three kings. And I uh, you know uh, when Jehoshaphat inquired of the Lord, you know, God is giving instruction through uh, somebody who was overtaken by the Spirit of God, or whose uh, who's the Spirit of God came upon. Hallelujah! And He's giving direction, and He's saying, "Tomorrow, you don't. This is not your battle. You don't need to fight it. You are my people. You are on course. You are in my direction. You are doing what." you're supposed to do you are living the way you are supposed to live so this this opposition this battle it is not your battle and the bible shows me a uh, portion b of that oh no verse 17 portion a of that be still and see study still and see so there is that stillness 
you when you study still you will see my deliverance hallelujah my god when you know i no longer live it is christ who lives in me hallelujah my job when you have put on christ my god when you have the mind of christ you know despite whatever is going to happen in the world i am a son of god i no longer live i am a son of god hallelujah so you operate from a place of stillness hallelujah because you know you have confidence that your father is at work the Bible says the God who watches over Israel, he does not sleep or slumber. Hallelujah. My God. And that is where the church is right now. So we cannot rule the God. We cannot compromise. Hallelujah. Whatever God uh, desires to do with our lives, we must then purpose. He has already done his part and Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. Then we must purpose to remain on his side. We, we must purpose, my God, to remain on his side. Hallelujah. So let us remain still. Stillness. I'm talking about his stillness. My God, uh, you, you read the word of God in the book of Mark chapter uh, chapter 4. You know, Jesus tells the disciples, let us cross over the other side. And uh, Jesus slept on the stand. And the Bible shows us the waves came and the winds came. And the disciples were not able to handle that. Actually, at the end of the day, they remembered we have him here. And he's asleep. So they went and woke him up and they asked him, don't you care that we perish? Hallelujah. And when Je the Bible shows me, when Jesus wakes up, he's just commanding, my God, the wind and the storms, be still. Hallelujah. Be still. Stillness. And you know, that brought calmness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it, it is set on everything. It brought peace. My God, the panic that was there. Uh, my God, the things that the, the disciples would, uh, uh, had seen as if it, they were going to perish. It is sorted out by that, that, that spirit of calmness, stillness. My Jehovah God, it is calming everything. It is sorting out everything. And let me tell you the truth. Despite the waves that are there in your life, despite the difficulties, and I don't know how, how situations are in your life, the Lord is speaking to you, stillness. My God, operate from a place of stillness. Hallelujah. Sit back in your bedroom and ask God, what, Father, what are you saying about this matter? My God, even before you call anybody, you are a son of God. Ask God, Father, what are you saying? What do we do here, Father? How, what do we say here? How do we handle this matter? Oh my God, hallelujah. How do I handle this? From a place of stillness, you are able to make the right decision at whatever time as led by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. But when your thoughts are scattered, when you are all over, my God, every meeting, every council, my God, you have been counseled, but nothing is working avoid the counsel of men go back to the to your originality be a son remain a son go back to the presence of the father and allow the father to minister to your inner man hallelujah and things that are troubling us will thank you holy spirit i hear the spirit of god say the things that are troubling us where well, we are looking solution all the ears and we have not gotten them the lord they say they are going to be found in a place of stillness because my god when your spirit is come my brethren we are able to hear god Hallelujah. We are able to get the down road. But when your mind is so crocked, my Jehovah, when your spirit man is so crocked, my Jehovah, when you are carrying burdens on your shoulders, the Bible says, let them that have it and come to me, and I'm going to give them less. Hallelujah. You can only operate in this manner when you are still, my God, stillness. When you're not panicking like the people of the world, hallelujah. We are not orphans, we are children of God. And the Spirit of God is there to teach us all things, even on how to love our God and to live in, uh, as, as the sons of God, even in this generation, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So, you are able to make the right judgments over every matter, hallelujah. Stillness. The Spirit of God is talking to us uh, about His stillness. I want us to conclude this. I, I will not be long. I want us to conclude this. I want us to go to the Word of God in the book of uh, in the book of Psalm, 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 I, uh, Psalm 46. Yeah, come up with your Bible. Let us read this Word of God together by the grace of God. Let us read the Word of God together by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Let us read the Word of God together by the grace of Him. <laughs> how, can, how can I handle this? Uh, the Spirit of God will give you insight. Hallelujah. Uh, Psalm 46. Psalm 46 is the word I've been hearing in the Spirit for the past about four or five days. You know, stillness. 
My God, many other times we want to carry our burdens and we want to panic over matters and we forget, like the disciples, we forget that uh, Jesus is in us the hope of glory. So the Bible says this is the conclusion of the matter. This is where your solution is. Is everybody coming up with their Bible? Can you take up your Bible? Let us have a scripture. My God, you can have it on your phone, whatever you're using. Let us read this scripture depending on the version of the Bible you have. So this is where our breakthroughs are hidden in this hour. This is where the victory of your marriage, the victory of your business, my God, this is where you're going to from here, when you know this secret, this is where you're going to see the fulfillment of the promises of God in your life. This is where you're going to see, and I said last time, we are in that physical transition. My God, we have heard God, we, are, we have heard about His covenant and His promises, but now we are going to see the physical transition. My God, hallelujah, from just hearing my Jehovah for uh, uh, to, to a praise of, of having it tangible hallelujah hallelujah we are going to see the tangible manifestation of fulfillment of what God has been promising us hallelujah it is going to be so tangible the Bible says in the book of John chapter 1 and verse 14 you know the word became flesh and dwelled among us hallelujah so that word that had been spoken from the beginning the word was there so at this particular moment it has become something tangible something we can behold hallelujah so this is where we are we are the, we are in a season of physical transition where what God had promised the children of Israel, the Canaan before even they they, they, they they became into being, God had promised Abraham about his descendants. Now the children of Israel are now entering Canaan physically. So it is a season of that physical transition where we shall see the physical fulfillment and manifestation of what God has been promising us as individuals and even as a corporate body in the world in the name of Jesus. So now this is a conclusion of the matter for today. I'm talking about stillness for those who are joining us from Mauritius. Now, God is speaking to us about stillness. So, the Bible says, Be still, hallelujah, in your marriage tonight, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, in your career tonight. My God, in everything that God has, has promised your life, my God, in our ministries, men of God, I see some men of God watching me. My God, anywhere God has taken you, this is no time to panic because reporters of, of media houses are reporting this. My God, HWO is saying this. My job, I don't know who is the governor, wherever, wherever nation you are coming from, whoever is saying whatever they are saying. This is no time to concentrate on that. This is time to be still and know that I am God. God. Hallelujah, my God, and this is where we are going to see my Jehovah Redeemer. You know, uh, you know the attribute we shall enjoy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Spirit of God say, "We shall continue from today." You know, I love what the Bible says. When, 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 when the King David sent for Mevibosheti, the Bible says the King is telling Mevibosheti, "You are going to eat from the King's table continually." My Jehovah, the fulfillment of the promises of God when they be, when they begin becoming a reality, it will be a continual theme. So be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. When you need to see me as Jehovah Jireh, I will appear. We shall enjoy the full attributes of the, of, the, of the names of God in our lives. Not what we have read in the Bible. Hallelujah. God of Abraham is our father. When you need to see his provision, Jehovah Jireh will appear my God and he will provide for us. When we need his counsel, when we need his direction, when we need his comfort, hallelujah. He will do all that we shall enjoy all the attributes of his name in our generation in the name of Jesus and I'm talking about the physical manifestation of the faithfulness of God in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah so he is saying be still Hallelujah. I don't know how your house is. Uh, I don't know how your marriage is. I don't know how your ministry is. I don't know what is happening in our nation. Like you know in Kenya, I spoke that word in the morning on the microphone in the city. And I'm declaring the same word even this hour. My nation, be still. The church in Kenya, be still. Hallelujah. And know, hallelujah, that Jehovah is God. Stillness. Hallelujah. You cannot know he's God until you are still. Hallelujah. Be still. Hallelujah. Don't panic. Don't fear. Be still. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says, I'll be exalted among the nations. After you have known his God, 
then he's going to be exalted among the nation. That means God is going to act on our behalf. He's going to give us the direction. He's going to give us counsel. He's going my the miracle working God will do his his his, his, his things. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I'll be exalted among the nations. We have been a ridicule, my God, to nations. I love what the Bible says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, from verse 18. Never again will my people be ashamed. We shall enjoy, we shall enjoy the former and the latter race. This is the time. Hallelujah. We shall see the restoration of the ears. That, that you know the the the, the, the swarm and the cacaworms ate. You know, that great army God had sent among us. Hallelujah. That is God for us. Hallelujah. So God will be exalted exalted among the nations. That means, my God, that we will see the workings of our God in our lives and the God will be exalted. Hallelujah. They will just exalt him. Hallelujah. The Bible says, I'll be exalted in the earth. Hallelujah. That is the season we are in right now by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Verse 11, the Bible says, the Lord of hosts is with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Enter your house where there was trouble today and declare the Lord God of uh, the, the Lord God of hosts is with us in this house. My God, as a nation of Kenya, we may be very few people who are born again and who have stood on the side of God, but we are declaring, my Jehovah, the Lord God of hosts, my God is with us. And we are declaring the agenda of God in our nation. We are declaring the agenda of God in our families. We are declaring the agenda of God in our ministries. And we are saying the Lord God of hosts is with us. Hallelujah. What else do you need? Hallelujah. He's the one who divinely connects you to your destiny. Help us so that you can physically transist to the promises, to the fulfillment of his promises in your life. He will connect you to your destiny. Help us. Destiny connectors and prophetic midwives. Hallelujah. So that you can become that which God ordained for you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Hallelujah. And that is it. Hallelujah. Be still and know that Jehovah is God. Hallelujah. Eh, eh, you know, when you are still, my God, you, 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 oh my God, you, you may look, <laughs> look, look at the people like Daniel. They are throwing him in the den of the lion. He's not panicking or calling people for prayers or looking for prophets to prophesy whether the lions are going to eat him or not. No, he's not even carrying a bottle of anointing or nothing. He's going down because he's the carry of the presence of God. Hallelujah. He knows, I know. Be still and know Jehovah is God. Hallelujah. That is it. Be still and know that the Jehovah, God, oh my God, He's our God. He's with us. Hallelujah. Even as I'm going down to the den of the lion, I'm still a son of my father. So there are things my father will never allow to happen in my life. He can never shame me to the, uh, my God before my enemies. He cannot give me out the desires of my enemies. That is my God for you. Hallelujah. So be still. Be still. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are and how things are. I don't know the prayer request you have in the presence of the Lord. Tonight, just purpose, I command you to sleep. My God, if you, even if you have not been sleeping, just go and rest. Know that God is at work. There will be no shame. There will be no shame. If you have walked light with God, there will be no shame. Even if you don't see a way right now, I came to introduce to you the God who is a way maker. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I'm talking to you about God who is able to go ahead of you and make every crooked party straight. Hallelujah. If you are sick and you are watching me today, the God of the God we worship, the God who is with us is Jehovah Rapha. My God, he is healing every kind of infirmity. Because the Bible says, my God, he is touched by infirmity. By the strength Jesus received on the cross, we were healed. So healing is our portion. Hallelujah. So despite the reports that are there in the world right now, God is asking his church, I mean his church, his sons, my God, hallelujah, the corporate son, be still. Be still. Be still. Hallelujah. Oh my God, some of these things, you know, the way some of us live, you look as if you are fools, but we are not fools. We are okay. Hallelujah. We are not everywhere. We sit back. My dear, I even sleep in my house. We sit back until the Father has spoken, until He has given direction. We are very calm. We are not panicking. My God, we are not panicking. Hallelujah. And that's why I'm saying the Bible says we are the right of the earth. We are, we, are, we are the right of the world and we are the salt of the earth. We are supposed to be giving solution even to the government of our nation. We are the solution carriers by the grace of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm done. That is the word from the mouth of God. Be still and know that Jehovah 
is God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Enjoy your night. It is going to even in my country. Enjoy the faithfulness of God. My God, may the, may, may, may the Spirit of God open you up. I hear the Spirit of God say, I will begin reminding you of the promises of God when you remain in a place of stillness. My job of God will begin reminding you the things God promised you even before you were born. Some of the things maybe Boshethi never knew. My God, he found himself in Lodiba. He never knew there was an inheritance for him. He never knew there was a promise of God, my father between Jonathan and, and David. He did not know. Hallelujah. He never had any connection, personal connection. Oh my God, uh, uh, to get to the king and, and uh, to follow up. My job, maybe he did not even have money for legal, uh, for, for, for legal battles. My God, but when God says it is time, it is time. What God is requesting from the church in this hour in the world? Stillness. Be still and know that Jehovah is God. Hallelujah. God bless you.